Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to talk about visualization of images in R and we are going to work with a Landsat image with one of the Landsat images uh, scenes that I have been uh, I have provided to you before. So uh, the image that you that you need is this one with 9 one one at the end yeah so please put it in a, another folder uh, we would uh, require again the same library raster for this analysis the raster package offers various structures for import data depending on how the image data proceeds layer uh, which is on one which represent one file one band stack function stack which is multiply represents multiple file in multiple bands and brick when we are working with one uh, file with multiple uh, bands and we are going to use a brick function so first you have to define the path to your uh, data to your image and um, here you also uh, we are actually using the um, import the image in form in form of the brick which is our layer stack that we have uh, created in the previous step uh, we will start with uh, basically plotting uh, one uh, image band uh, and uh, for this we can uh, use a function which is called plot uh, rgb the plot rgb function is a convention way to visualize different rgb composites you can uh, check out the help for this feature in RStudio uh, by um, for example uh, check um, searching for this function here this function has three arguments r uh, g and b and uh, in order when we would like to um, visualize only one band single band visualization we will uh, fill all the three slots with one band with band three let's call this plot rgb function and now in the plots uh, window what we see now visualization of the band number three of our image you could also uh, visualize not the whole image but just in the, uh, some part of the image and here i just filled in uh, coordinates for subset of the image and we, if we run it the visualization will be uh, uh, cut to just uh, part of your image according to the coordinates that you have selected and what also we can see here better is the features um, of uh, in our image which are agricultural areas yeah we can also use um, Mm, false go, create false or true color composites in um, uh, R and for this we need just to supply the number of bands to create this uh, color visualization of our image and here we do a, a true color composite um, of uh, our image and we can also run it with our subset that you could see better how the uh, visualization in R looks like. So, unless, okay, uh, of course, the visualization in R is not as sophisticated as in um, other uh, QGIS or ArcGIS software, so specialized GIS remote sensing software, which are specifically were developed for working with remote sensing data. But uh, here, the purpose is also different. It's just to visualize, uh, is uh, more about checking out the output, checking out inputs, but not creating uh, sophisticated maps. For this, uh, still speci specialized um, remote sensing GIS of software. Uh, is preferred. What we can also do, we can also uh, crop our images. So we can uh, create just um, uh, cut our images according to um, certain uh, part of the image or according to the coordinates. And here, um, let's just use the same uh, extent that we used for visualization to create a subset image uh, of our whole scene. Let me run this, and you can also we can also vi visualize our subset. So let me put it up here. So when you run this part of uh, 
um, of our um, code. So this is the same function that I have been explaining to you before. Uh, this is the visualization of our image, um, newly created image, which is a cropped image. Yeah. So by running this image subset function, uh, or crop function, we have created an image subset, which covers only part of our uh, image. And finally, uh, we could um, write our image. We can save our newly created crop image by using write raster function, where we have to first uh, provide the name of uh, uh, variable that we would like to save. We need to put file name uh, and path where to save it. A format and in case there is another um, file with the same name we say uh, that we would like to overwrite it. We also would like to examine the underlying data distribution in more detail and we can look at a histogram um, of a specific band with a, hun with a function uh, histogram here and uh, we choose uh, the green uh, band so uh, we um, that's why I called this variable green and um, in image subset we select um, the third band which is a green band in our case so and after this we call the histogram function where we supply the variable uh, we say how to uh, visualize it uh, the breaks argument in line is assigned with a single number given the number of cells of the histogram. So with more breaks, the bars in the histogram become uh, narrower. So it depends on this. You can um, actually uh, make it um, visualization different by specifying different uh, number of breaks and also by uh, changing the X limit and Y uh, limit. All right, let's run it. And here we go. This is a histogram of our subset image showing the distribution of values in our newly created image subset image. And if uh, we go to our folder, processing folder, we can uh, find here our also newly created image, which is called, which has a uh, suffix of uh, subset. So this is basically the basics of image visualization of single image visualization in R.